Welcome Sunday arriving yogis, whether you're showing up on Zoom or YouTube, great to have you at Sunday Sacred Self-Care class. What I like the best is the first 10 minutes or so laying on your back and relaxing. So I've got hair and makeup to do with the cat. Looney's in class today. I'm going to go give him a snack and I'll be right back. You guys relax. So people have been complaining there hasn't been enough loony in class lately. So we're going to give him some cat treats. Here you go. Get it, get it, get it. Excuse me. Here you go. Oh, sat on his tail. <laughs> hey, welcome. If you're just joining on uh, YouTube or Zoom, it's Sunday Sacred Self Care class, which is good after Thanksgiving and Black Friday. If you happen to be live streaming this for the first time on YouTube, it's like, what is this? It's a guy and his cat who teaches restorative yin sacred yoga every Sunday for the purpose of creating conscious contact and aligning with love, light and truth. What's that going to do? That's largely going to make for a happier, more joyful existence. So that's the intention. How it happens is serendipitous, creative, but I do know that having my whale of a cat on my side makes me happy. Looney turns one in four more days. You know what they say, one is the new zero. Hi God, do you wanna bite me? Do you just wanna bite me? That's not very sacred. Anyway, wiggle your legs out a couple of times. Holiday season, good time to make sure we get lots of rest and relaxation. I see some really good friends showing up on Zoom. By the way, I see on the analytics people from Tasmania, Poland, Chile. Let's see, we got Canada, we got Lithuania. We've got Argentina. And we have the US of A. Swallow once, circle your jaw around. This is Looney Cat. Looney Cat is a yoga cat and just being in around him and releases endogenous morphines. Nice deep breath together. We all breathe in the same air, independent. If we think different, we're still enjoying the same air. Sting says we share the same biology, regardless of ideology. Good kitty. Good kitty. Love you. If you have a pressing care or worry, or maybe you're 
got a huge project or a big trip you're getting ready to leave on and you need just some to clear your brain and let wisdom and sanity reconvene in your molecules. Let's do that. Ooh, a bunch of people just got into class. Great to have you. Good time is guaranteed for all. All things work for good for those who love good. Three more minutes on the back. I suggest moving your breathing down to your belly now. Make a meditation out of the rise and fall of your belly button. Meditation literally means to pay attention. We're always paying attention to something. In spiritual meditation, we focus that, well, we focus on the highest good that we know. Good now feel your feels. Breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe. That's usually deeper in our body, isn't it? We have our gut brain that does as much intuitive feeling as it does cognitive figuring out. So breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe. It's very healing to allow accumulated congested emotions to be breathed, to be released, to be processed, to be catalyzed, assimilized, new word, assimilized. Okay, now the great prayer of acceptance. I accept exactly who I am, where I am, what I have, what I'm doing, exactly where I'm at, my conditions and my circumstances, exactly the way they are, right here, right now. And if you want, you can be vastly grateful for that. Okay, after the great prayer of acceptance, what we do is we take the biggest inhale of our whole life so far, whopping big inhale. Exhale, let it all go. Empty out, pull the plug, drain your brain, let all of your goo go pouring out your fingertips and your toe tips and be a calm and peaceful soul. Boy, is it good to empty out every now and then. You can put something new in. You can't put new grape juice into old wine grape juice containers. Good, now let's wiggle our fingers and toes and circulate extra, extra, super feel good through ourselves. We're far more in charge of our mood than we give ourselves credit for. There's really nothing less productive than being a moody person, not in control of our own moods. It's really, it's pretty lazy actually, but that's not us, just people that we know. Good, now arms up to the ceiling. Lace your arms up over your head. <clears throat> Here's what I found. Stretch out. Ooh. Ooh, get that first thing in the morning, wake up. Your beautiful mate's gonna serve you breakfast in bed because they better stretch out. Mm. Good, bring your knees in and roll your knees around, kind of roll around on your back, get your happy on. 
I call this tipped over turtle. Other way. When turtles turn over, they will die unless they're tipped back over again. That's why other turtles come along and help them out. So the, mo the moral of that story is make sure you know a lot of turtles because it's turtles all the way down. Now we will sit up together. Wow, what a great turnout. Cool group of Zoomers, great to have you, some of my favorite people. And a growing group of Awakening Wonders on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Just do it now, okay? Just like, subscribe, ring the bell, just do it now so you don't have to think about it later. And you'll be glad you did because when you serve me, you serve me. Now, anyway, hands to our heart. Let's bless our practice. Anytime two or more are gathered, something wonderful happens. It increases our drawing power. So I invite you, with your eyes closed, to think, pray, intend for what's most needed or wanted in your life right now. Highly personal, isn't it? Prayer is the aiming or the focusing of our soul in the direction that we would like to go. Beautiful. Now, my prayer for the class is God, love, source, infinite, higher organizing principle. I hop for short. Let's get pancakes. Bless us with wisdom, insight, love, and truth that enables us to be the highest good in the world that really, really needs us at our best. Amen. Okay, we'll chant Om, and there's a bunch of beautiful voices in class, so drown me out. Big inhale. that. Let a warm elixir of relaxation, peace, and serenity spread from head to toes and from toes to nose. Eyes are closed, practicing the presence. If you wonder what happens in this Sunday class, if you're watching it for the first time, we do some joint juice. We go through the various joints of our body, loosening them up, getting them lubricated and open and decongested. And then we do some beautiful yin and restorative yoga. We chant, we pray, we love, we laugh, we meditate. It's a good thing. We might sneeze. Hold on. Oh, man. There's one thing I hate, it's tantric sneezing, where you almost sneeze and then don't. Oh, well. Uh, sit forward, lean forward into easy forward fold. We start our movement, our groovement. Stop thinking so much, dial your brain down, quit trying to figure everything out because you can't. But trust that everything is working out. You're a component of the universe and the universe has been working quite nicely now for 13.7 billion years and our own individual problems probably aren't haven't stumped the universe relax your head shake your shag pull the pin out of your hair relax if i was there i'd put my hands on my shoulders relax your shoulders apart Now we might want to inhale, look forward, long spine. Exhale, deepen down for 30 seconds. No rush. Sometimes you like it fast. Sometimes you like it slow.
No push-ups, no sit-ups, no cartwheels, no backflips. Not in this class. That's Saturday's class. This is the calm down, restore, regenerate, rejuvenate, all the R words. Good. Come up, my friends. All right. Now we'll counterpose. A big theory of the practice that I've learned is pose, counterpose. So I'm going to just put my hands behind me and I'm going to go bottoms up. Lift up your hippies. Lift up. Stretch your front parts. And sink thy front parts down. Good. All right. And we'll do poofing together. Arms out. Send them behind your back. Let's let's say the colors of our chakras, shall we? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, poof. Same colors as the rainbow. Same colors as Maslow's hierarchy of need. <laughs> do you see a connection? No, Greg, we don't. Poof. Well, you will by the end of this class because you're going to have revelations and insight that you never had before. Well, how do you know, Greg? Quit asking me so many questions behind your back. I'm going to scratch up my chakras. Mmm, I like that behind my neck. Say poof with me. Individual poofing is good. Simultaneous poofing, I think we can all concur, is probably the best. Poof. Lovely. All right. Now, I'm going to polish my kneecaps and simultaneously grease up my shoulders. I did six hours of music yesterday. Maybe you're just getting to know me. We're just getting to know each other. I'm trying to learn music a little later in life, and I put in hours and hours and hours a day because, well, I'm a little manic, but I try to point it towards something good. A little manic. Yeah, right. Other way, one. Up, oh, I see Laura's cat. By the way, if you turn your camera on, I am allowed to comment on your pets. Five. If you're watching this for the first time, see how this is kind of a different kind of a yoga class. It's kind of spacey and calm and right brained. And if I say do something eight times, we might do it 10 times because I'm always into more myself. Good, 11. We went to Spinal Tap, we did 11. Inhale for an ohm. Regale me with your beautiful voices, would you? Hands at your heart, drop your chin, feel holy, sacred, and reverent. We're cultivating a mood. This is not linear. This is not logical. You don't have to wait for the end of the class for the awakening. Be still and know God. Be not still and know God. Good, now I'm gonna switch across my pins. It's tight wearing season again, so I got my tights on. I'm gonna, I, let's see, we switched across my legs, your legs too, pull back on my buns. Let's do a forward fold. There's something humble and reverent. There's a certain surrender and submission of forward folding. It's bowing, of course. Move your head around a little bit. Relax your hard work and hair. Is there any part of our body that's more abused than our hair? Good God. 
going to the beach in the 70s, the perms in the 80s, the straightening in the 90s, the colorings in the aughts. God almighty, our hair, relax your head. I don't color my hair. Inhale, look forward. Now, oddly, I'm 66 years old and I have I don't have gray hair. I wonder what it is. Probably the drugs in the 70s. Come on down. Oh, relax your brain. Everything is on schedule. There's a divine orchestration. Trust. Sooner or later, you got to give it up. Good friends, come on up. I like where this is going. That's my new, one of my new mantras. Say it with me. I like where this is going. Hands behind and speaking of your behind, bottoms up, champagne bottoms, caviar rears. Houston, we have liftoff, rocket hips to the moon, rocket ships to the moon. I think it's a full moon tonight. I think it's pretty close. Come on down. It might be the one day before. My favorite day is the day before the full moon because. Because. <clears throat> now, right fingertips back left corner of your head. Tilt your cat. Sorry, tilt your head to the right. Drop your chin. Wait for it. Now, did your grandmother or grandfather ever grab you by your mouth and <laughs> your mouth? And didn't you hate that? But relax your mouth. Drool if you want. Close your eyes. Space out. Space in. There may have been a lot of repercussions, echoes from Thanksgiving, good ones, of course, but you know, family, people, triggers, memories. Let's let them dissipate. Maybe you had the perfect Sunset Magazine Thanksgiving, everybody was on their best behavior, all the family members were there, but maybe you had a human thanksgiving it was it wasn't everybody and maybe you felt feelings and let them pass it's okay to cry every now and then i'm saying that to all the men in class who are i think zero I'm here to help the guys too. If guys don't open their heart with yoga, then their heart will be opened with a rib spreader later. Good, let's tilt our head back up. Click, click, click. Left fingers back right corner and be vulnerable with me. Drop your chin. Being vulnerable shouldn't be a threat. We should be safe enough and secure in the true nature to feel our feels. Otherwise, they're just going to back up and then they're going to blow up and it's messy, but it's okay to relax your right shoulder. We are calm and peaceful cats. Peace is a practice. If you want to get good at something, you got to practice good. Bring your head back up. In fact, this morning on this piano, I was working on two octave runs of E flat major and it was very chunky at the start and after 20 minutes of it 
it was less chunky. All right. Now, what do you think about dropping your chin and taking your coconut around six times? One, there's nothing inherently special about neck rolls unless you make it special, unless you add the context of love, interest, fascination, appreciation, gratitude. Five, six, other way, one, neck rolls with your friends, two, three, and four, and five, and six. Good, now please to relax your head down for 33 seconds. Drop your chin, close your eyes, make ujjayi soft, whispery seashell sound at the back of your throat. And as the wavelengths of our mind slows down, the bliss that's always available, the signal that's always being sent, begins to filter in to our experience. Sometimes our brains allow bliss and sometimes they prevent it. Let's allow it, shall we? Good. All right. Inhale. Arms out. Arms forward, pull in, give a little brush on your side, come around to the front, pull in, rhythmic, smooth, peaceful. People just don't do this enough. We don't get, to, I think. I'm, I'm a big, I think church is great. I don't go to church, but I'm glad other people do because they need it. But I think in church, what would be good is if people did some rhythmic tribal movements together. <laughs> Maybe that's called a yoga class. Cup your hands by your side, drop your chin. Stop thinking. You're going to hear me for the rest of your life. Greg says, stop thinking, and you're going to suddenly have this newfound capacity, if not to stop thinking, at least to slow it down. Good. Now we're going to push out with our paws. We're going to go wide. We're going to circle back like people that are circling back, and we're going to brush our kidneys. This t-shirt makes me look fat. Now, one of the reasons I do yoga is I'm well, mildly neurotic, but I'm getting better. But I think I've packed on about 15 pounds since I got to my fighting weight of 177 about two years ago. And I've officially had it. And now I'm committing in front of people that I know that I'm going to go back to fasting. I'm going to stop eating a pint of ice cream every night. And I'm going to be good. After six hours of musical practice, I get so GD frustrated and aggravated and frazzled that if I don't have some ice cream, people are in big trouble. So maybe I can just breathe into that aggravation and calm it down and not have to assuage it with ice cream. Hands at our heart. What could you give up? We're all doing something we could give up that would make us better. I'm not going to say what it is for you. For me, it's a pint of ice cream every night. We're all doing something we could let go of that upon the letting go of we would improve. Doesn't mean you have to let it go, just identify it. <laughs> okay, now I've got my Institutor um, pitch detector on my phone and I'm going to see when I chant Ohm, I'm going to see what pitch it is. Okay, inhale together. Oh. 
about 14 cents flat of E, right between E and E flat. What other yoga classes get, are you going to learn what your pitch is in? All right, hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Leave a comment. Let me know if you think I look fat or if you think I look wonderful. Either way, just leave a comment. Shake it off. It's winter time. I need a little extra warmth. Hi, how you doing? Gossiping with your neighbor over the back fence. Did you see what she was wearing the other day? Oh my God. Now I'm not allowed to gossip in my spiritual program, which sucks. It sucks really hard because nothing's better than a good gossip with your friends. So just not going there. That's one thing I have given up, not ice cream. Cup your hands at your heart. Feel worthy, deserving, and that's good enough. Worthy and deserving. See how this class is just a live stream of right brain, nonlinear, somewhat silly, but profound. Okay, now show me your hands so I can see them. Good. Place them back here. Show me your feet. <laughs> you have cute feet. Good, now lift up. Poof. Oh, my God. Oh, it's uplift. This is an uplifting experience. Make your bottom your top, hair back, and you're in your Bel Air house in the hills of L.A. The Architectural Digest photographer is taking picture of you doing yoga in your house looking Perfect. Good. And come on down. All right. Now, this is where the elite meet to massage their cute little feet. Do you wonder why I say this is where the elite meet to massage their feet? Well, Matt Groening, the guy who wrote The Simpsons, before he did The Simpsons, he was a comic book guy and he wrote a comic called Life is Hell. <laughs> it was as funny a comic as has ever been written. So if you if you think that he's only done The Simpsons, it's not true. Massage your feet. Ooh. Ah, oh, self-care. It's better when you can get your mate to rub your feet. But what are the odds of that? Zero, right? So take matters into your own hands. And then push your thumb into the middle center bottom of your feet. I'm convinced other people can certainly bring us joy and love and light and relationship and intimacy. But there's a relationship inside of us that if cultivated, if realized, is truly the divine romance. Fold down toward your feet. Smell your feet. Ah, uh, the bouquet of toe. I think I see Nancy's two Siamese cats. One sadly passed, but those are the cutest cats. Do you feel your groins uh, rip, rip stretching? <laughs> I was going to say ripping. Nothing like ripping them groins. All right, come on up, kitty cats. Now, this is called <laughs> this is called jiggling. You just jiggle, jiggle and jiggle and giggle. That's what I say. Greg says jiggle and giggle. We just take the stuff too seriously sometimes. You think the universe is serious? God's up there wearing like looking over the top of his glasses. Good. Now push your knees all the way down, straighten your arms. And if you can't just come do yoga with me once every Sunday for the rest of your life and you'll get better. 
be unusually happy for no reason. No, you say, I need reasons to be happy. <clears throat> okay, we're going to fix that together. Okay, I like this pose because my non-childbearing hips are shaped like this. But now the knees together thing. Ah, pull your heels into your bottom all the way, little kid pose. Wrap your elbows around your knees and squeeze your knees together like Tupperware. Good, now watch, see my head way down here? That's not what we want. You want to float, you want to have your head in the clouds your butt on the floor, relax your shoulders, close your eyes, be your own main squeeze. The theme of today's class is the divine romance, the relationship of you with your divine self. Martin Buber, that's a great name, a great writer, philosopher, Martin Buber, said he calls it the I-thou relationship. pretty much going to give my assent to a philosopher named Martin Buber for sure. Relax your shoulders. Okay, let's open things up a little bit. What we'll do is we're going to pray with our hands and feet by lifting our feet. This is where the elite meet to lift their cute little feet. Clap your hands and feet. Yay. I love coming to Sunday yoga, but I wonder... When does the restorative yoga start? Is this like a waiting for Godot thing? Good. Now grab your big toes. They're right there. Oh, just straighten out lefty. Oh, straighten out righty. Mm. Straighten out lefty. Man, I committed not to having ice cream today in front of people. I am screwed. I am screwed number one, man. No ice cream. All right, fine. Can I go one day without ice cream? <laughs> yes, I can. Just one day. One day. You can do anything one day at a time. I went to Ice Cream Anonymous. The ice cream was terrible there. Oh, brings them back in. And set them down. Well, you might say, Greg, you're like spiritual guru guy and you don't have the self-control to not eat ice cream. No, I'm I'm not your guru. Um, just another bozo on the bus trying to do the deal. Wag your knees. Is this class going anywhere? No, we're already here, you guys. OK, fold your right knee over your left. Now, this is the pose that everybody makes look cooler than I do. You cross your ankles like a mermaid. And if there's one thing I don't look like, it's a mermaid. A mermail, maybe. Mermail, maybe. That's my autobiography. Ta-da. Good. Now, I call this Betty Grable pose. If you look at a lot of the um, military aircraft of World War II, all the dudes would paint pinup girls on the side. Things were different back then, but a lot of the guys had Betty Grable and she was doing this pose and turn to the right, Betty. Uh, stretch your paws up. Close your eyes, be unusually happy. You know, I do, I think I do make this pose look good, actually. I'm not much, but I'm all I think about. Inhale here. Now exhale and relax. My left hand is going to grab my left foot. Maybe your left hand grabs your right foot. You're bendier than me. That wouldn't be unusual at all. Maybe your right arm goes behind your back, but I don't care because it's not who's the bendiest in class. It's all getting together for the purpose of raising consciousness. Close your eyes. My sister just texted me and told me that I didn't look fat. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> you guys know my sister. She's a hoot. 
people on YouTube are like, I don't even know you, much less your sister. Good. Now let's come out of this, but you should, you should know me. Now, here's a pose. Just lean on your hands. Now I've got bendy bear friends that can just keep going all the way onto their back, but I'm a large male creature with big muscles and I can't lean all the way back. That's my excuse. Close your eyes. Relax, close your eyes, relax your thighs. Good kitty cats. Now let's come back up on our hands unless you were still on your hands. Now I'm going to make yoga fists for strong wrists because occasionally back when I had a yoga studio, we would rumble with other yoga studios. It was West Side Story meets Yoga Works. And so fists and now bottoms up, kitty mittens. Now say something scientific like, ah, ah, the science of happy sounds. Ooh, and come on down. All right. I was very frustrated in my singing lesson on Friday. There's a particular note that I couldn't hit, and I tried everything, including standing on my head. I tried sitting. I tried standing. I tried drinking coffee. I had my music teacher tickle me. I just, but you know what? I'll get there sooner or later. Good. Now left knee over your right. Under ankle makes a twisty tie. <clears throat> Arms up. Hands behind your head. Turn left. Close your eyes. And every pose is a prayer. Every pose is a prayer. Stop thinking. Everybody else on the planet says, think more, think better, think smarter, think all the time, figure everything out. And curiously, Greg says, stop thinking. Not forever, just for now. Good, now stretch your palms up to the ceiling. It's called Parvatasana. I'm doing the I'm doing the movie fugitive version, the one arm man. Turn more left because you're bendier than I am. It's okay to be bendier than me in my class. Good, now release your hands. Maybe your right hand grabs which foot? Left arm behind you. Drop your left uh, butt cheek, tall spine, even even parallel levels of your side. Squeeze it out. It's a twist. Good. Now from this, if it's 10 miles into the woods, it's 10 miles out. So lean back on your hands from here. Now, regale me with your flexibility if you're one of my ragdoll bendy bear friends who can lean all the way back. And if you're just where I'm at, that's fine. The world needs everybody at their current level of capacity. Today, we're building the relationship between you and you, self and self, small s and big S. Now, if you don't, for some people, that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean a, about a relationship within myself? I, I don't understand that. Well, that's okay. It's a cultivated sense of being able to feel an internal relationship. But in the absence of that internal relationship, we tend to be highly dependent and even needy upon worldly relationships. So the best of both worlds is to feel that inner grounding relationship and it almost always inevitably leads to healthier human relationships. Dear Abby has nothing on me.
Dear Tabby, that's who, I'm Dear Tabby. Good, now back up on your hands. That would be a great, if there were newspapers, I would have something called Dear Tabby. Now, bottoms up, kids, up you go. Now, Polly Porcupine's gonna walk underneath your buns. So lift up for Polly Porcupine. And sit on Polly Porcupine, cause he wouldn't get out of the way. All right, undo that. Good job. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Please bring your attention of your breathing to the tippy most of your nose. And we're going to do Vipassana meditation, which is a fancy name for meditation designed to sell it to people. But you can do it for free by simply bringing your attention to the tip of your nose and feeling the breath move out and move in at the tippy most of your nose to the exclusion of everything else. Stop thinking. Now, keeping your eyes closed, I'm going to ask you a rhetorical question. Even after one minute of breathing, meditating, do you feel a little better? Do you feel a little calmer? Do you feel a little more centered, stable? Perhaps joyful? Okay, let's chant another ohm and then we'll move into a whole different magisteria of movement, not hysteria, magisteria. Inhale, belt it out long time. We are calm and peaceful souls. Everything is always working out for us. All things work together for good, for those who love good or God. Okay, just one more seated pose, feet together, arms out. Today, we're going to become agnostics, not agnostics, agnostics, internal rotation, pause behind your back, wrist watch in your armpits, elbows inside your knees. And like my beautiful friend, Laura in Lower Pleasant Hill, she squeezes her knees together, drops her chin, Greg, not so much. Now, this is obviously a physical stretch in a variety of ways, but it's going internal, internal. Feel around for your inner being, your inner divine presence. When you found that, when you find that, you found everything. Good. All right. And now for something completely different. All fours, cat and cow with me, would you? 
cat cows, ups and downs. We all know this movement. You can't not know cat cow. Good. Now walk your knees in just a little, fold your toes under and my toes don't fold. So don't mimic my toes, mimic yours. Turn your hands backwards like this with external rotation and just lean your buns back and with your toes bent, can you bring your buns to your heels and stretch your wrists off? Close your eyes. We'll yin this for 30 seconds and you're going to be in one of two camps. You like it or you don't like it. You might think this pose really does feel sacred or not. Good. Now we'll turn our hands forward. And when I get up with my cat every morning at exactly 620, before he jumps on me and starts to attack me, he always does cat. So his buns stay high, he stretches his chest, and he reaches forward, and he sinks his chest down. And boy, can that cat stretch. The key to this one is elevated bunnage, long spinage, relaxed facage, and big stretches. This one takes a this one takes a minute. So this is yin yoga. It's an acronym. It stands for why are we in this pose so long? Can you let your hips sink back a little more? Crawl your hands a little more forward. Just rip your arms off. This pose is disarming. Well, okay. Get out of that pickle. Ooh, that one leaves a dent, doesn't it? All right, now... Extend your right arm out to the side. You can't see mine, but trust me, my right arm's out to the side. And just come to your right ear, right shoulder. Buns are high. Left hand is right in front of your face, supporting you. We probably won't do anything more intense than this. Today, we're going to do the calming, restorative, neck stretching, shoulder releasing, inversion, twisting version. Now, if you like, do take your left arm up and snake it around behind your back. Grab your left hand inside of your right thigh if you got the capacity. So this one's good for your face. It smashes your face so you smile more. It's a twist. It's a forward fold. It's an inversion. Not being rushed to the next pose. Good. Now take your left hand out of there. Put your left paw back in front of your face. Now just, just for a little fun and a little spinal stimulation, just take your left leg up to the ceiling, would you? Just this for balance and fun. Left arm up, same time. We are calm. Peaceful souls. Come out of that. 
Okay, you say. Cats and cows. I'm going to be like a dog and spin around. Woof. Ups and downs. I don't know about you, but I'm really enjoying this because I always make sure that I enjoy my classes. I hope other people do, but I'm not in charge of their experience. I used to be when I was codependent, but now I'm more in charge of my own experience and I offer other people to feel theirs, ups and downs. I like cats and cows. That's my bumper sticker. I like cats. I like cows. Good. Left arm out. Woo. And thread thy needle. It's harder for a rich man to go through the eye of a needle than a camel or something like that. That's what it says in one of the scriptures. But now some of us need our right hand on the floor to keep our face, our head from snapping off. Otherwise, take your right arm, right arm up and way behind your back. And we'll do this one for, we're going to do this one till it's done. We're going to do this one till we get our fill. It reminds me of a Bruce Springsteen song. He says, I'm going to drink till I get my fill. I remember those days. So that's done. Then it was like, I'm going to eat ice cream till I get my fill. And now that's done. One minute. Get your fill. Just here raising our consciousness, here slowing down our mind, here cultivating the relationship between I and thou. I'm not saying, I'm not saying disengage from worldly relationships. I'm not saying anything of the kind. I am saying find your own connection first and extend that out into the world. And then all relationships will be a reflection of that. Good. Now we we'll put our right hand back on the floor and this is entirely optional. You don't have to do it, but I'm going to wake up my nervous system. I'm going to take my right leg up to the ceiling. And if there's one thing I like in life is some balance. So right arm up. I'm just going to practice some balance. Balance is the ability to obsess equally in every area of life. Now be happy in the midst of the storm. Build a rock. Come out of horrible situation. Dos gatos y dos vacas, por favor. Por favor, not por favor. <laughs> I sound like an American. Good kitty cats. Let's have a seat and check the time. I do honor your time in this class. I usually ask for about 70 minutes. Now, what we need, what we really need is a deep, long, restorative pose. So we're going to twist. I get out my inner child. Sorry, that's a different class. I lay my bolster in front of me and we're going to do my favorite twist. So we're going to twist this side, that side, eight minutes Shavasana and we are golden. So knees to the left, pull the bolster into your bun, put your right paw on the bolster, do mermaid legs behind you with ankles crossed. Look back there, make sure your feet are back there. Tuck them into your buns, both hands on the bolster. See now, <laughs> can we just talk? Do you see now that this is not some mild kind of twist? This is, if you listen to me, you should. If you put your right hand over here and move the bolster over here, oh my God, oh my God, this is gonna become big twist. 
So I'm going to turn my not fat belly down and I'm going to come chest down and I'm going to come right ear. Okay. Now, if you're super bendy bear, you're going to come back up. You're going to go left ear because you like it. I'm going to leave that up to you. Oh, uh, happy noises come squeezing out of our body. Now, at the start, this pose feels like a little slice of hell. And then as you relax and your layers release, it becomes little slice of heaven pose. I'll see you in two minutes. Now, maybe your pet wanders by and wonders if you're okay laying on the floor. Have you passed out? Should I call 911? Reassure your pet. Now, all you got to do is surrender to gravity, let it sink in, and gravity, wisdom, prudence and a power greater than yourself is going to squeeze you and squeeze out painful patterns of perception, trauma, PTSD. If you're in my class, you probably have a little bit of that in there, I suspect. Underneath all of us is a safety net, the hands of the angels holding us up, but we can't feel it if we won't let go. We stay just above it. So you've been hanging from a cliff your whole life, fear, anxiety, worry, a little bit or a lot. And finally, you just let go and you drop one inch into a safety net. It was there all along. Okay, stay in the pose. Biggest inhale you can in the midst of the squeeze. Big exhale. Draw. Boy, that is a good pose. Good and good for you. Hands by the side of your side. Keep your lower body where it is. Just lift up thy chest. And just with your lower body staying where it is, just lean back into whatever kind of back bend you can do. I'm just a very run of the run of the mill, bozo on the bus back bend kind of guy. I know friends who could lean back and put their head on their feet, and I like having bendy friends. I like having normal friends. And we ooh boy, it was my whew. Man, sore from pumpkin pie. Now unwind from that. No ice cream today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now this goes here. I'll be okay. Sit in front of your bolster. Give it a good kitty. Good kitty. My cat is larger than this bolster now. I have to really work to pet him. Now turn your knees to the right. Bring in your left greater trochanter. That's the side of your hippies. 
hand on the thing, fold knees, ankles behind you, mermails, mermaids. It's a cool way to sit. Both hands here, lean back, left hand over here, and daylight savings time, one hour over to your left. Turn your belly button, sternum, chest, throat, face. Come down and you decide which ear, Van Gogh, which one for you. Right ear for bendies, left ear for stiffies, broaden them elbows. I'm gonna come step on you, I'm gonna walk on you. <laughs> oh, develop that internal romance. For those who have ears, let them hear. The biggest pain of my life has been the episodes where that internal sense of connection evaporated, disintegrated for some reason. But sooner or later in the fullness of time, if we're practice, if we're willing, if we're open minded, if we're patient, that sense of connection will come back. And then we learn that that's the most important thing and not to threaten that with human silliness. It usually takes about 80 years to learn that. Stay in the pose, whopping big inhale, fill up every single cell, inhale, more, more, release, surrender, let go into the safety net, into the hands of the angels, Psalm 91, he shall give his angels charge of or over us to bear us up in all of our ways. I believe in angels. Okay, now bring hands into side of side. Keep lower bod where it is. Lean back into your just leaning back thing. Ooh. A gymnast could lean back and put his or her head back on their feet, but that ship has sailed for me. New ships are coming in. I like my new ships. Good. Now, unfurl, my friends. Now, I may have gone slightly over time, but I don't think you mind because you feel like at least $100, if not more. This is for my knees. This is for my neck. And we're going to lie on its uh, kindergarten and its time out for kids. Shavasana for seven minutes. Blankets, pillows. And it's the fruit of the practice, kids. Don't skip this. Oh, oh, it's amazing how good just nothing can feel sometimes. Well, don't you need, don't you need something? Nope. Me and God. Six minutes.
Now, don't forget to lift up your hippies a little and undent your bottom, jiggle your legs, left shoulder blade, right shoulder blade, swallow once, eyes roll back. Mm, checklist of bliss as we take off into the stratosphere of ecstasy together. Go ahead and leave your body. And bonus holiday relaxing minutes. Yay. Okay, beautiful friends all around the world, stay in the pose, relax more, and this is the Sunday ritual. You can even do it if it's Tuesday. But the ritual is, if you'd like to invite God, love, source, infinite, higher, organizing, whatever, with a capital W, if you'd like to really cultivate that divine romance, that divine relationship more than ever, you can take this time now to invite that presence in. It's the most powerful prayer, God, come on in. I invite you in. God's very polite. She won't barge in without our invitation. Good, if you prayed that prayer with me, wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate the actual, tangible, delicious, cosmic, glorious, organic feeling of God, bliss, love, joy coursing through your nervous system.
We're all one. Good, when you're ready, curl onto your right side, take your time. Love all over yourself. Okay, the rules are you keep your eyes closed when we sit up together because, because, with internal vision, we feel our cosmic connection a little more, I believe. We're so much more one than we are separate. We're one, but not one in the same. E pluribus unum, hands to our beautiful heart. I'm quite convinced experientially that if you go into you and I go deep into me, we come to the same glory together, glory after glory, glory hallelujah. All together we say, Nama Sunday. That was the best class ever, not because of me, but because you brought it today. I could feel it. YouTubers, goodbye. Please like and subscribe. By liking this, you spread this vibe around the world. It helps. So bye.